Hi, I'm Jaden Fields. I'm Jada Kearney. And I'm Riley Orcutt. Welcome, Welcome to, to Off Topic. Topic. All right, we're coming up, you know, senior weekend this weekend. It's the crazy. season is rolling real fast. Mm -hmm. Feels like we just started the season yeah. and now like yeah. we're ending. It's like, like we that's blinked crazy. and here we are. Yeah. yeah, like it's already almost time for regionals and postseason, mm -hmm. which excited. is crazy. I know, I'm so excited. It's only the best time of the year. Yeah. yeah. No school too. Yeah, yeah. So just softball, just a yeah. softball player. And, and I think we probably get like one of the most exciting senior weekends ever, getting to play right. against our rivals, Florida. Mm -hmm. I love Florida. No, right? Uh, it's it's always always so excited. Fun, yeah. It's gonna be packed in our stadium. Oh, yeah. Our fans are gonna be gonna go crazy, and we'll have all that support. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's ten of us, so you know a lot of seniors to go through. Mm -hmm. but yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be lit. If y'all want to come out, Jaden Senior Day is on Saturday, and me and Jaden are on Sunday. So, period. Will this be out before then? Probably not. Maybe. No, yeah, <laughs> probably not. We're sending the vibes. Just in case. I hope that you were there. Yeah. Uh, but what are you guys most excited about for this series coming up? I think like what I was just saying, like the energy. I feel like is gonna be like unreal. We're already gonna be amped up, not just because it's Senior Weekend. But because it's Florida, we always have a great time going back and forth with them every mm -hmm. year. So it's really just going to be a lot of fun as well. Yeah, same. Yeah. I mean, I just love the rivalry, you know, the competitive nature right. when it comes to Florida. And it's our last series home. So it's just going to be a really excited, exciting time to leave it all out there. And I can't mm -hmm. wait. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so just talking about the season as a whole, what are y'all thoughts of how the season has been going? You know, in my five years of being here, this has been the best team, the most talented yeah. team that I've been on. Um, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to face challenges and things mm -hmm. are always going to go your way. So I think we definitely have, you know, faced some, some obstacles. But at the end of the day, that is what is going to make us a stronger team. Right. And it's about having that resilience, which I feel mm -hmm. like we have and everybody wants to win and wants to do their job. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're climbing and it's going to be some hard work and you know we've already started kind of turning over that leaf mm -hmm. after that Missouri series but it's been you know that's what makes it worth it and more rewarding at the end is when you kind of face those yeah. hard times mm -hmm. yeah I feel the same like I feel like even now more than ever we're all more like banded together and like the belief that we're gonna win like that we're gonna fight and we're gonna play it till the end no matter what and we're gonna try and win by one run that's all we need to do mm -hmm. so I think now like we've kind of gotten rolling um we'll be pretty successful and excited yeah i think the same i think honestly not saying like we lost a lot but i feel like yeah we might have lost a couple games like more than we expected to lose at this point and i think honestly it's only going to help us when it matters when our season's on the line because like we were just talking about we have a lot of people on our team that it's going to be their last chance ever playing college softball. And I feel like because we know what it feels like when we do lose and we know like how to lose when it, the, when the time matters, I feel like it's going to be even more everyone trying to fight because again, like it's our last chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like this is part of it. It's not right. always sunshine and rainbows. It's just right. like the reality of a tough season, especially now, like our bodies hurt, like we're mm -hmm. mentally exhausted, but it's really just about that push and who can cross the finish line, so. Yeah, yeah. but it is gonna be more fun when school is out yeah. and right. all we have to do is play softball. Weight lifts <laughs> off the shoulders, yes. definitely more fun. For me, I can't really feel that effect this spring since I'm not really taking yeah. too many classes. Yeah. I have one online class, but oh, so I lucky. know for others, it's definitely gonna help. Oh yeah, no, yeah it's gonna help me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, but I'm excited about that too. And the weather's been really nice lately. So yes. Mm -hmm. Just vibing with that too. Thankfully, yeah, the weather's been awesome. Because mm -hmm. it was so yeah. cold. Where did we just come from? Kentucky. Kentucky. And Tennessee. Yeah. It was cold. It was freezing. It was like, Hello, it's April. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it'll be nice yeah. to have nice weather from here on out. Oh, yeah. It'll probably be really hot in Oklahoma City though, but you know, we can hydrate and be ready. Yeah, so, we'll be ready. Whatever it takes mm -hmm. to get there. You know? Yeah. All right, so SEC tournament is coming up. How important is having momentum when going into the SEC tournament? I feel like, yeah, momentum helps because you're feeling high, your whole team's feeling good and confident going into the tournament. But at the end of the day, when you're at the tournament, anything can happen. I mean, we've seen it ourselves. People that weren't supposed to lose early in the tournament lost early in the tournament. So I feel like it can only help so much. Yeah. Especially like 
again, it's the SEC. You're going to be playing amazing teams every single game. Right. It's a lot. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shoot. It's important because in previous years, we haven't been as successful at the SEC tournament. So I'm really hoping that we do have the right kind of energy necessary to go far this year. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, the SEC tournament postseason in general, like, to be at that peak is where we want to be whenever, like, that time rolls around, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, like, the momentum's great, like Jada said, and, like, ha like everyone's fired up, everyone's, like, feeling good. But, like, honestly, it's just game by game. Like, we're trying to just yeah. win the next game. Like, Coach Tony always says it. Like, the most important game is the one we're playing right now and the one we're playing next. So yeah. um, just trying to take it game by game and going from there. Yeah, because I feel like even thinking about, like, again, back to our freshman year, mm -hmm. we went to the World Series, and I'm pretty sure going into the tournament, we were on, like, a nine-game losing streak or yeah. something. So, well, like, We got yeah. back home and got right that week yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did. So, <laughs> yeah, so I really, I honestly just think whoever wins the tournament is, like, the team that comes into every game ready, not mm -hmm. thinking right. about what happened before. Right. Because, again, it can only help it. Well, at that point, it doesn't really help you. Right. Because so. talent is important, yes. But like I said, like we are at the end of our season where people are going to be mentally tired, mm -hmm. bodies are going to be hurting. So mm -hmm. it really just depends on, you know, who wants it more and who's mentally tough. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right, we'll end it with this question. Uh, what is y'all's favorite part of spring in Athens? Well, you know, weather's been nice. So for me, as soon as those pool is closed, signs get removed from the pool and I can <laughs> yeah. go in and just enjoy myself, read a nice book, sit mm -hmm. by the pool. That's my favorite thing to do outside of softball. Yeah, me too, I would say. Go on a walk or like, oh, yeah. just be outside. A walk like, is good too. Yeah, like just being in the air, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's just like, also the allergies too, they kind of get to me, but I don't care, it's nice to be outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the allergies are getting to you, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, be sneezing. I be sneezing, too, on the softball field. But oh. anyways. <laughs> I, was sneezing, I was sneezing a lot today at practice. Bro, that's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. But what was I going to say? I was going to say, I think my favorite part is just, like, the vibes. Because I feel like when you go from, like, cold weather to now it's, like, sunny and, like, warm, I feel like just naturally everyone just gets more happy. Like, I mean, you know, like, yeah. you've heard of, like, not like depression, season but like see, yeah, season. <laughs> I it's didn't a know what I mean. Yeah, not like, like seasonal depression, and it's like, mm, and then sunshiny. You right. get to hang out with it's your friends. Just, uh -huh. You get to walk. It's just all good vibes. Fresh air. Yeah, colors are brighter, mm -hmm. and it's almost summer, closer to summer. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, loving the vibes. Yeah, well, I cannot wait to finish out the season with my best friends. It has been one it's heck cool. of a ride. It really yeah. has. Career is going to be coming up. Um, finishing for me and you ride yeah jada i'm excited to see you know where your career takes you but yeah, yeah. this has been great i mean, can't see, wait to see what's next in life yeah i yeah. don't oh, know we're all gonna do great things i know it i have faith <laughs> and rather we're coming to visit you in cali oh yeah, yeah. girls trip to cali to come visit love it Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Thank you to The Retreat for hosting us and a special thank you to The Players Lounge for allowing us this platform. 